afternoon uh, because it's already 12 o'clock late. Uh, my name is Kailash Banerjee and I am a lecturer in the Civil and Environmental Engineering Department and I teach in Geology um, as one of the courses I do. Uh, so to give a brief introduction about the course, uh, uh, sorry, about Geology is uh, Geology is is all about the rocks okay and we have three types of rocks one is igneous one is metamorphic and the other one is sedimentary okay now igneous rock that forms from the lava or the magma Metamorphic rock, I will talk after I talk the sedimentary. Sedimentary rock is the rock which is formed by the physical and mechanical weathering of the parent rock and they transport them to an, another place and there they compacted and cemented to make sedimentary rock. That's why they are sediment tree. So sediment that makes the rock. Now metamorphic rock is the rock which comes by the metamorphism by the process metamorphism of the previous rocks. It can be igneous rock, it can be sedimentary rock and which metamorphose to make the sediment, the metamorphic rock. Okay? And in fact, metamorphic rock again can be metamorphosed to become another metamorphic rock. So this is the brief dis uh, discussion about the three types of rocks we get in the earth. So, and now in the lab, we analyze two things. One, we identify physically these three rocks and we also do a mechanical test. We call it rock mechanical tests to, uh, to understand, to, to measure the strength of the rock under the conditions when you put any external stress when you make any type of use of the rock. So as I mentioned to you, we have three types of rocks. The first set of rocks is basically igneous rocks and I will show you two examples of igneous rocks. One is this one and the other one is uh, okay. these two. Okay. So if you see, these are the uh, two igneous rocks. One is the, this is called granite. You have heard about it. And this is another rock which is called basalt. Okay. So we, uh, these are the two um, important or, or very common type of igneous rocks that we find in the earth crust. Um, you can see these are, uh, their colors are different. So how we identify, we identify their colors. And if you look carefully, they have different types of sizes of grains. Okay, So by the grain size and by the color, we identify the rocks in case of igneous rocks. Okay, Now if you look, the second set which is the sedimentary rock. In sedimentary rock, I mentioned to you, it can be formed by physical or mechani uh, mechanical uh, chemical weathering. So physical weathering um, happens and the rocks get come close. The rocks, if you see here, these are the big sizes of the grains. You can see the grains inside. These are the grains which are compacted together and these are cemented by some um, um, material which is natural and they cement or glue the these grains and make this rock. This is a rock which is called conglomerate. There is another type of it is also you can you heard about is called sandstone. This is a sandstone. Here the grain size is very small. So these are called the um, plastic sedimentary rock which are formed by physical weathering of the previous rock okay and depending on the sizes of the grains we name them like this is like sand size so we call sandstone this is the coarse grain which is more than two millimeter size of the grains we call them conglomerate okay so depending on the size we classify the plastic sedimentary rock now this is the sedimentary rock which forms by 
chemical weathering. Like we get the salt, if you evaporate the seawater, you will get salt. Similarly, this is the rock which is called limestone. Now, how limestone forms? This is formed by the precipitation from the solution of calcium carbonate. So, when it falls and when it crystallizes and forms this sedimentary rock. So, this is a sedimentary rock which is formed by chemical weathering and the other two that I showed like the sandstone is formed by mechanical weathering, okay. Now the last group which is the uh, metamorphic rock, now as I told you metamorphic rocks are formed by um, uh, the form by the metamorphic process of the older rocks. Uh, now here two important parameters controls the rock um, uh, characteristics. One is the how the pressure is there and how much temperature is there. So temperature and pressure determines what will be the daughter rock, what will be the metamorphosed rock from which is metamorphosed from the previous one. Okay. So as the pressure and temperature both are important, here these rocks um, because of the pressure creates um, layering just like if you if you press uh, like uh, different or differently oriented grains and then you put it in, in, in a pressure they will lie on a particular direction so here also if you look here these are the layers that you can see and these layers are formed because of the compaction between from the two sides the uniaxial compaction from this two side or compression okay similar to this okay so this is the metamorphic rock these are two types one is called um, um, this is called schist, one of the uh, um, very common, and this is phyllite. You heard, I think you had heard about it, phyllite, uh, which you also get, or slate. Okay, so these are the common metamorphic rocks. Okay, there is another type of metamorphic rock also, which is formed from the limestone that is called marble, which is the metamorphosed limestone. Now, whatever rock we get in our uh, Trinidad is mostly if you look at the northern range part, we get metamorphic rock. If you go more south, you will get sedimentary rock because of the deformation of, of or deformation history of, of Trinidad. Uh, the northern range lot contains lots of the schists or um, limestone. Now, these limestone that we have in, in, in the northern range are mostly metamorphosed long limestone. We do not call it marble, but because it is not that much of pressure and temperature that was given to it or it was induced in that that it will call it will be called lime uh, marble instead we call it metamorphosed limestone because it was not that much metamorphosed partially metamorphosed i would say okay now this is how we identify the rock now if we go to how we do the mechanical properties how do we measure the mechanical properties of the of the rock what we do we cut the rock into a uh, specific dimension, okay, like this. And then this is called an instrument called point load test. And it will give you how the rock will break or at what uh, pressure it, the rock will break if you apply the pressure. And we put the, in the, the instrument over here and then, so look here. So what we do, we uh, put that into these two pressures. Look here, I'm, I'm pulling it up. Okay, so look here, as I apply apply the force, it will, it will um, break and at certain point, it will break, okay. One second. I have to go this side. See? What is that? Good. He is our technician, Mr. David Kojo. He is showing you how, at what, how it breaks. Okay. So look here. So this is the pressure that is, and we, we measure the pressure and then we find out, uh, or from that pressure, we find out the property which is called the strength property 
of the rock okay so this is how we do the testing uh, of so two type of test we do the identification physically and we use this instrument now this uh, this uh, two types as i mentioned the first type which is the identification we can use uh, microscopes to to show uh, to, to, to um, find out the uh, micro scale properties of, of, of the what is the what are the what is present inside okay so look at we have different sets of microscope over here so what we do we actually make the make the rock into slices and make thin sections we call it thin sections like this okay and then we put that inside and then we see with that light how this because different rocks are have their different properties okay and those rocks if you transmit the light the colors will be different for them so we analyze the color difference and we can also see what if there is any internal fractures inside also okay so this is the microscope study this is the extension part, part or extended part of the identification where, where you can see the micro features or you can do the micro fabric analysis of the rock okay so this is called the petrography so two, this is called the petrographic analysis of the rock petrographic analysis of the rock what is the first part is the identification and the second part is which is more detailed is using the microscope so this is the thing that we do or, or however we do the other types of tests in the labs also like densities and other characteristics of the rock but for the time constraint i am not going to show them all or show you all and that is the uh, brief description of the lab and what we do in the geology in, in, in this department okay now i have a two, i have two small questions for you but what you need to answer after my video is over by my, my my presentation is over one how many types of rocks do we have in the earth you have to answer that and what are the two types of tests we do to i um, find out the properties of the rock and that's all i hope you enjoyed the the video thank you